This here is a prep area. We also keep some of our china in here. We keep our coffee cups in here. We keep our milk and sugar and candle holders in here. There's more coffee cups. Here's some of our candle holders and our creamers are down here. And then on this side we keep all our plastic wrap and foil. So it's all accessible. If your foil runs out or your plastic wrap runs out, usually we have a backup in there. So we've got plastic bags, we got home style freezer paper. We've got aluminum foil here, we've got plastic wrap here. And I've got two plastic wrap and foil down on my table. There's another plastic wrap over here, so there's plenty. And in our coffee house cabinet and our memory cafe cabinet, we have two more rolls of plastic wrap. So we've got plenty of what we need. Over here is kind of the shelf that has everything. We keep our water bottles on top, coffee cups, coffee crafts, salt, pepper shakers, individual uh, sugar containers that we put out on the tables, microwaves here, toaster oven that we keep here, and then down there are the cutting boards and all the drink containers that we need. We also have four double outlets here. So when we do soup suppers, we use every one of these, and then I also bring my strip, which has another 12 in it. These are my permanent steam tables. You put about a gallon of water in these, turn these on. You can put any one of those pans over in this to keep it hot. The controls are here. When you turn it on, the light goes on. It's got coils down in the bottom that heat everything. They will keep everything hot, as hot as you want it, or as, as uh, warm as you want. Thank you for volunteering to in the kitchen. This way you'll know how to operate everything. And maybe, just maybe I won't get as many phone calls on how to turn stuff on, or how to turn stuff off. So uh, enjoy work working in this kitchen. Thank you.